Previously on Sailing Cerebral. We finally make it here to beautiful Guadalupe. And I find out that my van was broken into. We have anchor problems and the anchor stalled out. Where this cargo ship's coming right at us. Good morning. So today we're sailing from Saint-Pierre. And we're going to the south of Martinique. Yes, we're going to the south. Um, we are really nervous about this mm -hmm. anchor because we've been having crazy anchor issues and now the boys went to turn on the engine and apparently we're having an engine problem. So I guess we really have one problem a day. We have one problem a day. Hopefully this is our problem of the day and then we'll be smooth sailing out of here. The captain just gave me this sign so apparently the anchor stopped again. I'm trying to keep the, an eye on all the boats around us. Okay, try now. There we go. Other button? Yeah. Other button? So, when I did that, it read zero. The power is getting here to this red, but it is not, um, when the solenoid clicks, it is not clicking to here or here, which runs to the motor one way or the other. So it looks like it is the solenoid, but I'm not sure why when we do a direct, direct connection that it doesn't work. Another beautiful morning here on uh, Martinique. Getting pretty tired of it. This is our last uh, morning here in this harbor though, and then we're headed to the south side of Martinique for a little change of scenery, change of pace. Two or three days there, and then two or three days in the main city before we head for St. Lucia. So we went ahead and grabbed it. It didn't have a mooring ball on it, so it was a little deceiving, but I mean, that's a, we grabbed it, pulled it up, and that's a thick line. So we think someone just popped the mooring ball off somehow. Or... So we'll dive on it though, see what it's hooked up to down there, a nice big cement block. It has been so great. I'm still feeling really, really grateful to be here. Every day I wake up with a smile on my face. I'm just really happy to be here. It's a dream, really. The crew couldn't be more perfect, to be honest. Like, I feel like we really get along and everybody respects each other. I'm still thinking that it was a great idea for me to sign up for this experience because it's amazing. We've been to so many islands. Couldn't dream for more, like honestly. Also on the boat, we like to say that we have one problem a day because for real, every day something happens. Uh, one night, the mooring ball fell off. Two days ago, the anchor stopped rocking. Like, we have a problem every day. Uh, but somehow we managed to get it fixed. Um, nothing really, really bad happened yet. <laughs> so, finger crossed. The days go by fast. I feel like I say that every time. But the days really do go by quick. And we visit such beautiful locations. I'm really excited for St. Lucia because we've been going to all of the French islands. That's like the past like four islands we've been to. But I'm excited for something new and kind of to be a little more in my element, you know? Like when everyone speaks your language, you can interact more. So I'm excited for that. done here in Grand Ant. Then it's up to the capital, Fort de France, Fort de France, Fort de France. I don't know. But um, we gotta go up there to get our COVID test tomorrow, the 28th, so we can uh, get into St. Lucia. Joe's at the helm, get ready to get out of here. On to the next one. We need to move on, don't we? Fat Tuesday, big party in there tonight. We're going in. Looks like the color tonight is red. Everyone's wearing red, red and black. As an aggressive anti-communist, I don't actually own anything red. So I'm gonna have to sort that out, but should be fun. All right, we've made it to Carnival. The first thing Captain did was spill his drink. Party foul. Oh, hey, fancy seeing you all here. the ladies already I think a government is about to
to be overthrown. We found him. Apparently you just follow whoever's making the most noise. Joe is what you might say, call macking at the moment, but we don't. We also don't want her to get abducted, so we're trying to keep an eye on. You know, you got to give them their distance, but at the same time, this is like a taken situation, so we're trying to be careful. You got my number. Hey, there we go, Joe. I'm so sorry. So we dropped the locked into the water, and it's late at night, and <laughs> we. Trying to get to the boat, so Cody is going to jump in the saver. Our bodyguard. I can't see shit, so it's just gonna have to stay real steady on it. You're okay, now you're on it. Last night in Martinique, everyone, we had fun. Did we? That was fun. Carnival was fun. We didn't we didn't time that on purpose, but it worked out well. Being here on Fat Tuesday, so. All right. It's about seven o'clock. We're about to say goodbye to Martinique. I think we're leaving at about eight thirty. So I gotta get some of these reps in for my my challenge this week. 300 reps a day so knock a bunch out now maybe all of them we'll see and then we're off to uh st lucia St. Lucia. Hope oh, I finally did it. I left that little window open while we were sailing. And so my room is soaked. So I guess I gotta just pull everything out of here and uh, let it dry out. Luckily the shelves seem fine. It's just the floor here and the mattress. Always doing something. I don't know. Always doing something. Okay. Well, there's my room drying out. And there's the marina over there. The captain's getting some information for us right now. Um, on what slip we're going to get in there, and then we'll go in there and dock in a couple days. So. If you're first time on a dock since St. Thomas, that's kind of nice. The dock is a hotbed of activity this morning. Got a friend here working on our one of our hatches. We've got our neighbor all the way at the top of a mast there. Not sure what she's doing. I like it in here. Uh, we're currently on the north side of uh, St. Lucia. On, um, in a marina on the north side of St. Lucia. So uh, it's uh, right, right south of uh, Martinique and just north of uh, St. Vincent. So we're kind of on the uh, lower side now of the Antilles getting closer to South America. 
So this morning, Zuko and I decided to go to this yoga class that the marina had. And Cody decided to join uh, out of nowhere, so it was fun. We all did yoga class. It was my, actually Cody and I's first time doing yoga. So it was really nice. We stretched, we, we had fun. And um, I was this li with these little cats, all of the yoga class, so it was fun. I'll give you guys a real yoga class. I'd enjoy that. Captain gave the thumbs up, so that should be a good sign. That mechanic is in here doing work, getting stuff done, so... Hopefully we'll have a working anchor. Thank you. You know what to find, Alright. Thank you. Is it? Uh, that's a big thing. I don't know if it's fixed, but it's one, it was one of the issues. Okay. Was this breaker? It was probably bad. Um, it was stopping electricity from getting to the windlass and just overheating and just mm -hmm. not working properly. So I asked John to find one and bring it, but he couldn't find one. So we went there and found one that was. Not the same one, but slightly bigger, so... Better than smaller? Bigger is better. Yeah. That's what she said! So, <laughs> we'll see if it works. Cool.